Last week on the Aviator Show, the bus rolls out of the Jersey Shore Airport and into the rural Stevenstown, New York. The Aviator family meets up with local paramotor pilots, Merrill, Johnson Q and his famously bright scout, Buzz, and more. Then, it's a quick stop to a small town in Massachusetts where Reese gets another surprise mid-flight. Murder kill! Stay tuned for this week's episode of The Aviator Show. Alright guys, we are in the one and only Steventown, USA, in New York with our buddy Merrill. Merrill trained with us last year. He's crushing it out here. Uh, he's got a friend who has this beautiful, beautiful driving range, mini golf, diner, coffee shop, ice cream shop, and we're parked in the middle of it. So Merrill has a hobby that he doesn't do very much anymore because he kind of got addicted to paramotoring, but that is long range FPV airplanes. And I've never flown one, so I gotta hashtag fly all the things and uh, we're gonna go check it out. You look good, everything looks good. You don't have to pull too hard. <laughs> it doesn't look probably, that bad. Probably 60. That fence comes up on you. How you feeling it, Eric? I see you freaking whipping it there. Freaking wicked fun. Yeah, and come right around on a left bank, and you can just rip it. There you go. Look at you not raising altitude. So you want to come down? Let's just, let's just go for nose dash. I can't even see this, though. It takes so long for the sound to change. Yep. Coming straight down. Coming over. Dropping back down. I'm going to do it again. Freaking wicked fun. But if you can't fly the paramedic, because it's real windy, that was really fun. <laughs> totally different than a drone. Like, totally different. Yeah. See this little wire connector? Uh -huh. Pull it out. You can get those for a dollar each, so I don't have to solder every single one of those modules. That makes it so much easier. What's your name? Johnson Q. I am flying possibly the first Speedster 3 in the country that is not a demo. And I told Eric Fabal to go all the way into the White Mountains and such, but we're not there yet, so we're just gonna fly this beautiful little area. It's still early, so it's thermic time, but I wanna get this flight in before it gets good good. Rush of blood through my veins can I fake that I belong If I stand still with no will I'll fall apart If I step down, lay here half bound And my dawn from the start Is it too late to turn? Reese, what are you flying? Yeah, Krona. How much flying you got? Speedster 320, if you want to try. Okay. Nope. Eric's brand new Maverick. 
All right, kind of on a uh, little bit of a tight schedule because um, doing a lot of filming. So Eric just got down from this motor, so it's already warmed up. As you can see, some golf balls are around me. We're kind of on a driving range. If that doesn't add some additional pressure. I don't know what does. Oh, God, I love it. Awesome. Okay, so with only 28 flights, I've been waiting for a moment to fly a legit cross country. That's when I noticed the cell phone tower on top of what I would call a mountain. Not knowing that this would be an eventful trip, I left Buzz and Johnson Q back at the field having some fun with the swoop pond. As I approached the tower on said mountain, I noticed a perfect field to do a low pass in. And as a good student from Aviator Paramotor, I decided it would be best to inspect the field for power lines first. Currently heading into the wind and downhill, I checked the area and deemed it safe for this maneuver. Now there are many things going through my head. Like, great, you just chucked the field, but now you're going uphill and downwind. And isn't this the first time you've flown this wing? What's the laws in New York about shooting people who land in your field? And by the time that that all went through my head on final approach, I noticed something tickling my feet. Oh, that's the ground. I need to start running. Now one thing about an unexpected landing in a field next to a cell phone tower, you get great reception. So you can phone your buddies when you land. <laughs> you first have to bring your cell phone. Well, up the mountain we go. That was an unexpected land in a pasture on top of a mountain. It's a little thinner air up here. Ow. I didn't get hurt. I'm just out of breath. I'm gonna catch my breath. Try to get back out of here. My bad, Eric. All right, the wing's laid out. The sun's setting a little bit. Slight downhill. Obviously, we have hay bales to watch out for. All right, smile. Here it goes. There's a lot to be learned on this flight, but I'm just gonna let the internet tear me apart while I enjoy the sunset. Then head straight back to the driving range as I overshoot my landing. And we live to fly another day. Let's grab the drone and get some footage of the cool kids. Cause I was not.
so I don't film myself often, but I just got off a plane from New Orleans flying drones out in Lake Charles during the hurricane. They had a huge storm that hit and we were running power lines with my friend Ian from Cavu Media. I just met up with Johnston and we are out in the New England area currently right outside of Boston and uh, just met up with Tom. So we're going to go up for a quick flight and uh, get a little high. Uh, uh. Oh, it's not cockroach. Welcome to Mass. So we're going to launch here. Hopefully we have enough time where we can just float that way. There's a field in the middle that's good for bailing, but uh, get above the clouds, float over until you see this long water stretch. It's called the Burridge. Okay. The Burridge is five feet deep. You can do some stupid stuff there and land in it if you want and probably not drown because it's five feet deep, but right. don't do it. This side is pathways crisscrossed. Most of it is mushy, but you can at least walk on it. Okay, cool. I'm used to walking. Uh, uh, run it out. Uh, Gap it dry. Gap it dry. I landed a little long, but we had a lot of runway because we're in an airport. We're at the airport, so we have space. Next week on The Aviator Show, the most cinematic paramotor footage of the trip. The family travels to Dean Memorial Airport in New Hampshire to meet up with a bunch of paramotor pilots who are gathered here for a fun fly over the weekend. Foggy mornings make for fantastic flights. Eric's back has him crippled. Arthur eats a bubble. And Reese gets to fly in an air coop. All that and much more right here on The Aviator Show.